Hi, I'm going to show you how to use the offline maps capability in Handy GPS. So when you bring up the app, you can click on the map button, and that brings up the hybrid layer by default. So what you do is you zoom to the area that you're interested in, um, downloading an offline map form. Okay, so you zoom to a little bit larger than the area that you want to do your bushwalk in. So for example, if I want to do a, a walk in this reserve here, Kincumber Mountain Reserve, I zoom to an area that's larger than it. Then what I can do is I can click on the view button and in the view button, you see the standard uh, Apple Maps layers, standard satellite and hybrid, at the moment showing hybrid. And down the bottom here, there's a manage offline maps button and below that as any offline maps I've already downloaded. So I'm going to download an offline map for Kingcumber Mountain using the New South Wales topographic maps. So what I need to do is get the URL first and copy and paste that into this bar here. Um, so you can find a number of examples of these uh, on the online help for Handy GPS on the offline maps page. So you just paste a, the appropriate URL into there and then you um, can type a name for the map that you want to download. So I'll just type in Kingcumber. And you'll see that the zoom level and lat long extents have been pre-populated from the map view that we had um, previously up. Okay, so it's always a good idea, uh, especially when you're putting a new tile server URL in, to press the test button down the bottom here. Uh, what the test button has just done is it's gone to that tile server and requested the central tile for that area um, and it's downloaded just that one tile. So th these tiles are um, JPEGs or PNGs, you know, usually about 200 to 1000 pixels on each side, some, somewhere around that range. Um, okay, so once you're happy that you've that it's working, you can press the download button and that will actually download the entire map that you're interested in. So you press download and the progress bar starts to move along. And if you've got a good Wi-Fi or cellular connection, it shouldn't take too long. And then your map will be ready and it will pop up a dialogue saying done. So then you just press okay. You go back. Now you'll see that the hybrid maps layer is still showing, the Apple maps layer. So to change the view, you click on the view button at the top and you'll see that there's a new, now there's a new offline map. The Kingcomer Mountain one is one I was, I downloaded earlier, but the one we just downloaded is called Kingcomer. So you can have as many offline maps here as you want, as long as you've got storage for them. So I open it up and then we can see where we're going to walk. I've laid on the, um, the contours of the New South Wales topographic map. Now, um, the app downloads three zoom layers, so um, more detailed, less detailed, and, and so on. So you can zoom in to a certain extent, and then eventually you'll run out of zoom layers. Similarly, you can zoom out to a certain extent, and then you will also run out of zoom layers. So there you go. So, But what this capability gives you is that if you've downloaded the right area for your walk, you can see the map quite well over those three zoom layers, the zoom levels, and um, you can see your track log and your waypoints overlaid on the map. And that will help you when you're out of uh, cellular range, you'll be able, still be able to use this map. So this map is stored um, permanently on your phone until you delete it. And the way you delete it is you go to the Manage Offline Maps page, and up the top, right, there's a button called Delete. You just choose the map you want to delete. So I'll delete the one I downloaded earlier. Can you come a mountain one? Delete offline map, yes. Okay, done. Now I'm going to go back and we go to the view menu. You'll see that there's only one offline map now. So that is how you manage offline maps in Handy GPS for iPhone. Thanks for watching.